What's going on everybody? Thank you for stopping by the channel, as always. Today we are installing a front lip on a Q50. So the lip or a splitter? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Lip or a splitter, whatever you guys want to call it. As you guys can see, the bumper is already removed from here. Is Cliff, it? can you go ahead and give us a quick rundown on how to remove the bumper? No! You can figure it out. Alright, um, over here we have this trim goes over right here, so you have to remove the clips out of here. Once you remove the clips out of there, you're going to pop the clips on these pieces, both sides, and you're going to have a tab and a bolt that's going to be going through each side. Well, this is for the other side, where it'll be like this, and it holds the bumper in, in between the fender and the bumper. You remove those. You also have a bolt that's right here behind the fen uh, fender liner. You get out of there, 10 millimeter, and then there's about eight to 10, 10 millimeter bolts along the bottom. You remove those. Once you uh, remove those, you're capable of pulling the bumper off. Once you pop all that off, you have a clip right here that is for your turn signal and you have one right here that is for your fog light one on each side you pull those clips bumpers off thank you very much if you guys have any questions at all go ahead and drop a comment right below here and we'll get right to you and if there's something you don't like tell us what it is oh yeah hold on one second hold on okay so he brought up a very valid point if there's something that you guys see that you don't like instead of just hitting the thumbs down button, drop a comment below so we at least know what you don't like and why you gave it the video a thumbs down so we can adjust it and not let that happen again. Basically, all we're saying feedback is important. Please, yes. Very important. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, please, we would greatly appreciate that, guys. Thank you. This kind of car that comes with a twin turbo and I can't even drive on the highway, not doing runs, just regularly driving, and my car ends up heat soaking. Oh. No bueno. Oh, I would color match it. The red and blue. The lip, right? No. I was going to say, I would color oh, match it. Over here for a second. You want to show the lip before, uh, while he's uh, like. So, like, subscribe, and you know, we'll put something down here. And Make sure Kirk's zooming in on my. All right, say something pretty for the camera. Kirk. Thank you. Flippy boy. Putting some nuts and bolts in. Why are you putting nuts and bolts in? Why not the self-tappers? Uh, because we like to have our lips stay on the car. That's no fun. <laughs> well, for me it is. I know you like to spend money on sweaters. Yeah, it's what I do. It's what you're good at. It's a training course. Yep. What are we talking about? Only the oil cooler comes in the We're talking store. about how useless the factory intercooler is on the 3.0 TX. That's what we're talking about. And it's wrong. It's hold on, zoom in on what Cliff's doing right there so he can explain. I'm busy. <laughs> yes. Alright, so I started to put the lip on and I got to a point where I had to put a through bolt on and I realized I couldn't get to it from the bumper itself. So I came from the back and I noticed there's a screw that's right here, one that's underneath here, and two here, and there's clips going around that I believe are holding this in place. So I'm gonna to attempt to take this off so that I can get the gray section of the bumper out around the fog, house, fog light housing. And the gray section he is referring to is right here. There so it looks is. like the fog light has to come out as well, and there's a screw behind that too. And then you hold push on, clips out, including this one right here. Oh, white hand. There you go. How many men does it take to do a splitter? There should be oh, there's there. another one right there. And this three and then one black guy to watch. Oh, damn. All right, go ahead. You gotta remove the screws from the very bottom of it also. 
Bottom of what? The gray piece for the fog light truck. What gray piece? Where was it? Somewhere. All the clips stayed intact. That's weird. His bumper is multiple pieces. I don't know how I feel about that. Marshall, can you pull that one off the light for me? Now he's just going to do a quick fasten up of all the little nuts and bolts and clips up top. We need to adjust my splitter. Have it point down more. Yeah. I guess. You broke your Japanese. Oh, okay. Like trying to work See, I'm a mechanic. <laughs> no, don't do yours. Actually, try to help a little more. Where's the, where's the flashlight? Uh, I forgot it at home. What's up? Full house today. Up next is a spoiler. And what the spoiler does is give you downforce, baby. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> All the G's. Uh. So yeah, up next we're gonna do a quick little. I like this one better though than the rest of the ones that they make for the Q50s and the G37s. They come out like far and they're like. Yeah, this one actually looks really clean. Thick. It has a little. So yeah. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. So yeah, we're gonna install that next on the same Q50. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a frontal shot once we get the car off the jack stands. All right, guys. If you ask me, this slip came out absolutely perfect. Came out high. Came out perfect, aye. and it looks absolutely perfect. Check it out. That fitment is on point. Definitely on point. Why are you always lying to these people? I'm not lying. Sorry. But am I lying? I mean, yeah. I'll show you where it's off right now. Cut it, cut it, cut it! <laughs> Cliff's gotta run. <laughs> and now that the front lip is complete, we're gonna go ahead and add the rear trunk spoiler or duck lip or duck bill however you guys want to say it something in that nature i don't know what he's using but it's some kind of fancy stuff nah i'm not gonna tell him what you doing there you're not gonna tell me what you Make sure we're both in the same spot. I think we need to go your way. I think we have to go your way. Mine's hanging over that trunk. Yeah, it falls right on it. On right on the edge? Right on yeah. the edge. It's got to go in. You good? Nope. Really coming towards me. Yeah, lift your side. Yeah, he has to lift his side. That shit's on there.
because he left us early, but this is us wrapping up the video. We finished his lip and his trunk spoiler. Marshall's. Lip. Marshall's trunk spoiler. Yes. <laughs> and, um, you know, regular shit. You know, you know what to do. Leave a comment, subscribe, like. Any negative feedback, let us know. Anything at all, even the smallest thing, camera angles, the way we speak. Yeah. We talk too much. Instead of just instead of just hitting the, the thumbs down button, drop a comment also. If you're gonna hit if you're gonna hit the thumbs down button, at least let us know why you hit it so we can improve upon that and that doesn't happen again. And we need more money. We're sick of filming in the garage. You know <laughs> <laughs> But thank you ladies and gentlemen. See you guys around and watch out for the Simply Clean video.